you know, five or, you know, five minutes later or an hour later, then find out that I'm not recording. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. Okay. So I went through and uh, won. It's an old new thing. Um, basically, there there are two kind of torch toggles for the character. One was called torch, and it would light up one torch. And then I had another one for a while that was called torch light, and that's the one that you can set up a torch, a lantern, and a spell. And that one, at some point, stopped getting updated, and then when Foundry updated, it kind of didn't get updated, and it was breaking things, so I removed it. And now there is a replacement for that, and I think it's like called HUD Light or something like that. That yeah. one does seem to work with three different um, toggles. The Torch Toggle that kind of looks like a fire flame, a, uh, a one that looks like a light bulb, that's for lantern, and then there's one that looks like something else, and that's for spell, if you have like a globe of daylight or, or something to that effect, I can set up that uh, spell for you. But those should work. Um, be some. Earlier today, I did check, and it does look like the status effects in that work, so that is good. Um, for this uh, Nintir Vale in the Fallcrest map, I added a, a tiny token that is able to be viewed by everybody, so that way I don't have to have everybody's token sitting here for you to be able to see the map. So uh, everybody should see both of those maps, correct? Fallcrest and yeah. Intervale? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. So that is good. Um, I don't have any rule mechanic changes for once, so that's good. I think, except for some grammar, spelling, that type of stuff for clarification if you read it and it doesn't make sense. Um, other than that, the base rules for the game should be uh, what is in the current PDF, so that is, is good. I'm happy to finally be at that point. Um, the other thing is we're transitioning to the campaign style um, game which is uh, people can have multiple characters, adventures start in Fallcrest, they go out, you do stuff, you come back. If for some reason it is a multiple uh, session adventure, then while that is happening, if for some reason people can't make it on a week, instead of either having those people out or if there's too many people gone, um, and instead of uh, canceling games and stuff, you can just use secondary, tertiary, et cetera, characters. Um, and there are various things that will be up on the, the uh, I think it's the Blue Moon Alehouse wall or things that, that can be done, um, large and small. Plus, if people want to do things and, and have adventure hooks themselves if certain characters do then they can uh tell me and i can put one of those up on the wall as well that your character can beg bribe hire whatever people to to do things um one one important concept though is that your individual characters or the same player can never interact. So two, if, if you know you have a, a couple of characters, no gold, loot, items, etc. go from one character to another, no ideas, things like that. That's just 
keeps people from, uh, say, going on an adventure, getting a character with a bunch of cool stuff, um, but you really don't like that character, so having that character die off and then moving that stuff to another one. That is kind of it. Um, if if ever, I guess I can maybe activate it. Let's go to Fall Crest because I do want to show a few things. Fall Crest. Everybody, hopefully, is on the Fall Crest map now. I had to move. Yep. Um. So if you notice in lots of area, especially the lower part, like here. Here, 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 here. Those are all ruins. Fallcrest was kind of overran a couple of decades ago, and it is still rebuilding, especially in the south. If you look at the wall here, the gatehouse here, in the woods here, the, those walls, ha that is correct. Those have been damaged, breached, etc. Um, the parts over to the the east Wait, here. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm not seeing any of your interaction. Is it Fallcrest or Netter Vale? Fallcrest. All right. So everybody to me shows that they're on Netter Vale. I'm going to re- You might hit, hit yeah. Because I'm even showing your... Uh, Dot showing up as on Fallcrest. Yeah, I moved myself over, but I wasn't seeing any of your clicks. Were other people seeing my clicks? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's okay. Try. Well, I'm back in, but I only show three dots. I don't know. That's weird. Hmm. I, yeah, do I you see... Uh, I see your click. Okay, so up in here. Down in the... Basically anything with these, like, gray yeah. crumble. That Those are all runes out, outside of the wall there. Uh, down here, the, the actual wall to the city has uh, been destroyed up here where some buildings and stuff. So this is a city that is rebuilding. Um, even a lot of these houses and stuff that aren't in ruins still um, could be in, you know, abandoned or such. And your each one of your characters is probably somewhere. And the bigger ones might be like little, you know, apartment, multiple people, buildings, things like that. Um, yep. Is there a designated spot where the uh, silver dragon, the silver dragon paladins hang out? The we have like a barracks here. Silver dragons currently, or they were up in eight, where the actual uh, keep is. Oh, okay. Um, they they were barricading or bivouacking. Is that the correct bivouac? Yeah. Bivouac, yeah. Um, up with the the soldiers of mm -hmm. Fallcrest. Um, when when you here's something it's it's in character and out of character. Uh, Jason came up. I I said nothing. He came up with this concept. I haven't replied to him, but I thought it would be absolutely hilarious um, if if it happens. So, uh, Bob, Sir Emery is a paladin, and I believe at possibly level seven, paladins get a squire, is, is yes. one of their things. Yep. No normally, that squire would be level one. Yep. Jason wants to make a squire. So, oh, there is cool. a squire out there who is trying to find Sir Emery and <laughs> will not will not find Sir Emery until Sir Emery is level 7. So Perfect. on any That's adventures awesome. that you play a different character besides Sir Emery, you will see Jason Squire. Right. But any times that you do play Sir Emery, Jason Squire will not be there. Cool. 
he he came up with the idea of like not trying to find but never meeting up with Sir Emery and I'm like, well, you don't really get it until level 7, so that makes sense and is That's kind perfect. of amusing. Um so that that is one thing the the town is, you know, it's it's slowly being rebuilt. There there's various factions and politics and stuff going on. Uh, Lord, uh, I want to say Markelhay, he is trying to get things together, um, but working with the various factions and such have not made things easy. Um, basically, outside of this map here, he doesn't have... He has control in name only. Uh, I don't know if anybody actually remembers when we very first started this game in Winterhaven. Um, some of you were from Fallcrest, and the reason why you went with the caravan was because uh, the, you know, the Lord Markelhay can't provide that protection as well as when the Dwarven emissaries went to Fallcrest, they were uh, denied help, and they had continued past uh, all the way to the east of the Nintir Vale to Hammerfast. So, uh, the the other thing there, and I'm I'm not trying to be mean, there have been multiple people that have asked me about Adventurer's Guild, and that is something that can happen in the future but it's not something that people really have a concept of they're in a ruined city rebuilding it trying to get it back working and there are people out there that will pay others to do things but it's not necessarily a concept of hey let's it get together and do this just a couple of months ago the one faction that was trying to do something similar has fallen apart and it is uh both in character and out of character out of character it was my uh, D, D fourth edition adventures that people were I had a couple of groups going at the same time this is just taking place right after those games kind of stopped just stopped playing so those characters were trying to get something together, and now those characters are out in the world lost. That's why some of you uh, mentioned to me that you recognize some of the names on the... Uh... <laughs> Anthony like calling him the bounty list, but it was like the, the list of missing peoples. Right. I couldn't read it. It was very difficult for me to read. <laughs> Besides it being intentionally hard to read, wearing bifocal sitting at a computer, I was trying to find the right uh, distance. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel for you there. So, I before I point to something on the map, and... Completely mess up and point to the wrong thing. Okay, Blue Moon 23. So if you go down here at 23, that building, yep. that is the Blue Moon Ale House. Um,
the uh, a, a human known as Par Winnemer is the owner, but the brewer that does the brewing there is a Gelfkin named Kvara Brown Bottle, and basically that is best ale and beer and mead in the the area. Can you drop those names in the chat? And it was the Blue Moon Ale House? Yes. So, Lumen, if I pull out character sheet number two, is there a way to save it, or do I just close it and it's saved? It's, it, automatic. it's automatically saved. Okay. So, hey, Par Lehman. Winnemer is the proprietor? Uh, Par Winnemer is the proprietor, correct. Hmm. Kamara is the brewer. Hey, Lehman? Yes. Can you either repost or remind us where the description of the town is? I I'd, I'd copied it to uh, Francis's character sheet, but I don't have char Francis's character sheet anymore. There was an email I sent out to certain people who had characters in uh, the from Fallcrest. I sent you something. There might be things in the in the journal, but I don't think. And, it, and Kamara was a Gelfkin. So I might send resend that out the the one that is for uh, the public. Yeah, Kamara is a Gelfkin. Male, female on either of those. Uh, Par is male. Kamara is female. The uh, streets and other areas are pretty muddy from all the snow that has melted. It's basically like the weather that we had very often where it would snow a couple of feet and then later in the, or I guess it was the beginning of the week, the snow it would be 70 degrees and then Every Thursday it was snowing, and a couple days later it'd be 70 again. So it's that type of thing. A lot of snow. It is warm out, but not all the snow has melted, and it's very wet. That's kind of the, the weather. So, there were various, I guess I have this able to navigate everybody. I, I just made the Blue Moon Ale House deal with everybody for why I didn't have that. It was before, before. it went away today. Which is I was probably messing with. With something. So, so the the um, ale house is uh, icon twenty three, right? Correct. Yes. And currently, the uh, guardsman and the paladin of the Sylvan Dragon are in. Uh, uh, 
Correct. And the majority of the Order of the Silver Dragon actually went to... Um, they w they w left when you jumped on the Viking flying ship. Their leader, Sir Oakley, yelled out that he uh, was or yelled out to Sir Emery to meet him at Gardmore Abbey. And is eight the the keep and the barracks basically? Yes. Okay. So that's where the lord would be as well. Correct. Yes. Yeah. And the soldiers do you know go around town? It's right, just right. that's where they they live. I'm setting up a notes page now that I have to actually pay attention to NPC names. Trying to read a message I just got, and there's two two letter things that I don't understand. Co and you. You is the name of the character. Oh, okay. And and co. Oh, must be a color correct. Let's see. <laughs> XP. Ah, okay. I don't know how it became co. <laughs> um, to to ch change attributes, you just right click on the it, and you'll get a. It's a drop down, but it's actually above it. We'll say edit, or delete. Don't delete. Hit edit. No. Oh, okay. And then put it where the the value is. Okay. Everybody should have got XP. I usually do that right after the adventure is over, but I just got this. Oh, nope, you're right. I, I wrote it down on my tally sheet, but did not change it on you. It should be correct now. Okay, nope. Luckily, I keep that uh, double as a, a backup <laughs> on a, a piece of paper for everybody. So I think from what most of the people were saying, they were either interested in the the island or the missing people. Both of those uh, said to see Alor within Blue Moon Ale House. You would all be gathered around looking. And everybody, both those who came outside of Fallcrest and those within Fallcrest, somewhat know Aelor. Um, those who were from Winterhaven, you saw him briefly, didn't really interact. Uh, he was a drunk elf. Or, Elve, I guess, a drunk elf up at the Silver Unicorn that is 
number six up by the north gate. That is also where some of you had left your gear and things while you went on the previous adventure. But it seems he has moved down to a a decent, but the uh, not as lavish as the silver unicorn. Silver pretty fancy, whereas the blue moon isn't a rough and tumble tavern, but it is more of a merchants and workers not uh sometimes the the town guard and captains and such will will be there um those of you from fallcrest know alor as an outsider who recently came in with a bunch of people and uh it seemed like he was trying to to do stuff and kind of uh, do some politicking with various merchants and the temple priests as well as the lord. But um, the people he came with left at various times saying that they were going to do various things and never came back and that kind of put him into a depression where he took to drinking and so to, to show you all that is Aelor. Well, I'm sorry, was he an elf or an elve? Elva with a V. Um, in our little Discord chat where you mentioned Kelson? Yes. Was he the proprietor of an inn? Or he, have... he appeared to be. But... Those characters would not have known if it was true or not, but that was the Lucky Gelfkin Tap House, which is 28. That is uh, right on the edge of the, the south of the, uh, the green, which is where the Viking airships attacked, okay. which was 26. And 22 is the Wizard's Tower. That is where you had uh, teleported back into. Is there a location where the temples are? There is various uh, temples. Yeah. At the... I, I believe I sent a public legend in to everybody, but it's been a long time ago, so after... The adventure, okay. I will send out an email to everybody with that information. Okay. And the, the last uh, kind of, not rule changes, but more of rule additions, I did look through the uh, D&D rule cyclopedia. That was the combination of the Beck me without the, the I at the end. So Beckham, I guess. Uh, basic D&D rules. They have some pretty decent rules on building stuff, building forts and strongholds and things like that. So I will be using uh, that as a framework because I do know people are interested in building stuff at some point. So I want to have a framework on how that will work. So yeah. I am I, I... getting stuff together. It's just... It's a in character and out of character reasons. Yeah, the exploring that... and stuff is fun, but sometimes leaving a lasting like if your character dies but you manage to build something up, hey, you got a lasting thing that's in the campaign. Right. And that's kind of what the the camp you know, switching it to this style of campaign is is one of those things. I I realize that 
it's not resur you know resurrection's easy you drop to zero pop back up drop to zero pop back up it <laughs> is <laughs> drop to negative a couple of rounds later you pop up with a permanent injury but you know, Junie, the Lois's sister's really sick and her phone number's upstairs I think that was Peter's mom. Yes. So, Aylor, uh, he has two different things that he is looking for and willing uh, to to either pay or trade for. Um, there is the clearing, or the, not clearing, investigation of the island, which is number one of the waiting tower. And I find it pretty funny that they have all of those runes everywhere, but that uh, island, those buildings look intact. They are not intact. That is I would say at least a couple of centuries ago, it was abandoned and no one has reset up things. The ruins, it is a ruined island. Um, basically, when the um, the early winter came and a lot of the river actually froze a a boat that was sailing uh, had to stop at that island and it uh, the when the the uh, you took care of the winter king and summer came back and the boat was freed it uh flowed down and went over the waterfall because nobody was left in the boat. Sailors and such seemingly disappeared and the island does have rumors of being haunted. And a not good place, so people tend to avoid it and that's why if you look at the map, there are the boats that are up against the dock on the opposite side of that island. So Alar is, is curious on what happened there. And then he uh, would explain to you kind of in character what I explained out of character that he and a large group of companions had came here to fall crest to try to help build up the town and get trade and such safe across the Nintir Vale. And people were were doing pretty good. They would go out, they would do they would accomplish things and come back. But every like, no one has returned from the last thing that they were trying to do, which was very. Okay. So if anybody is taking notes or anything, I will break things up. If you go to the the Blue Moon Ale House and zoom into that reward. <laughs> you might not be able to, to read it. I'll go over some, some stuff. So were any of them nearby? Like, did any of them say they were going somewhere nearby to do something, or are they all they are all with, within, well, the the last he knew, they would all be within the Nintir Vale. But they were going to various places, 
and not many were extremely close, some closer than others. Um, so actually, if uh, we go to the, I'm going to activate to get everybody on the Nintir Veil map. So if you're not on the Nintir Veil uh, map or not seeming to be traveling there, you might need to refresh. So, uh, where are we supposed to be? Nintair Vale map. Okay. So you are all in Fallcrest. Which has the the little journal note that if you click, will pop out another map that is exactly the same as the Fallcrest map. Um, but if you look and go up. Uh, where the, the King's Road and the Trade Road meet and then kind of go up the Trade road, road, you'll see a mountain, a lone mountain peak known as Thunderspire. There oh. are uh, various people that are missing that that was their last, or that last location that he knows of. And how long ago would it have been that they traveled there? Do any of those? I hit a button. Yeah. Um, I'll just. Wow. Okay, hopefully I didn't kick anybody out. I, I hit a button on my keyboard and kind of gave me weird options that I didn't want. Um, so today is like the uh, the 15th, September 15th, 2010. And the last time... would have been in July. That's not that far to travel. So that would have been uh, July 23rd. Most of them uh, had, had left and he has not heard anything. So it's been about just, just, you know, month and a half, almost, almost, but not quite two months. Yeah, it's it's only thirty miles away. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it should have right, been or travel there and back. And it, it would it would be a you know, a if you you're not pressing fast, that's going to be you know a, a three days there. It's not going to be a three month there. You're not old man Nicholas. <laughs> well, old man Nicholas isn't here because he's resting his joints somewhere. Been too much walking around as it is. So, uh, to Thunderspire. People went. Typing. What now? He's typing something.
does not let you cut and paste with chat does. So dumb. Can you not uh, do C, control C, control V? I can't highlight them. Huh, I can. Oh, up in chat, I see. Okay. That does. Uh, that's all right. Just means I need to type. So I put, that should be everybody on the missing people list. Okay. So Thunderspire would be the closest. Right. But you also want information about the waiting tower? Yes. The tower of waiting on the island. If there is any truth to the mysterious disappearances, both recently and in the past, that is not good to be happening so close to the city. So what do people want to do? Don't mind helping out, but before I travel, I, I will, well, I should, well, a bit ashamed to admit that I don't have much in the way of goods to stock up on a large expedition. So perhaps going to the waiting aisle Earn a bit of coin wouldn't be bad. <laughs> the uh, 
They they went to guard more, not hard. Where I type is right where my uh, my camera is pointed, or between me and my vision of where I type is camera. So <laughs> I didn't realize I typed that who, incorrectly. Who in the who in the party speaks Narathi or the two dwarven languages? in the screen to look. So I'm not here as old man Nicholas to get that straight. I'm here as a, a elf uh, um, named Landon. I'm pretty sure he speaks Decimus speaks Narathi. I can go ahead and take him. Because I can do another character, but Colmane just, I mean, he doesn't speak any. He's got to kind of hang close to somebody that. Like you said, I can take Decimus. Who, well, you don't have to. Well, I was still filling out the other one, so Decimus is ready to go. So Decimus speaks Narathi? Yes. Okay. Does Landon have armor, or is that just from the the one automatically given on this character? Um, let my armor is zero and zero. I did not buy armor. Is it on the or something? It's uh, just... Basically, the character sheet just starts off with... Um, no. Everybody having reinforced leather. Oh. Just because that was a really, really common thing that people were getting... So I'm just Yeah, I can't wear change. armor. I'm tier three or whatever. Well you can wear it, it's just you're at Yeah, everything I do is at a penalty, so no. Hey Lehman, since we can't interact with our own characters, since I looted uh Francis, does that mean my longbowman can't acquire any of Francis's goods? It means Peter can't acquire any of Francis' good. Okay, because my longbowman does leatherworking and tailoring, and uh, Francis had those tools. So, eventually, what what's going is is there is a want of creating some type of organization. Mm -hmm. At some point, all the characters will be part of that. And uh, there will be like a group, um, say, spells, items, etc. So things at some point would be able to move to a different character. Having was... said that, right now Decimus has that thing, that stuff. Doesn't know Decimus's. Doesn't know your sorry other characters. Well, okay. Well, I've already paid for it out of. My original starting money, so okay. I'll keep that. Okay. Squeak, go on. Landon should have correct AR now. So Landon speaks. Narathi as well. What's that? Landon the elf speaks Narathi as well. I thought I spoke more, but I I don't look like I have any of the dwarf languages. I thought I had that. 
Uh, this is the group that's going to Thunderspire. Currently, we haven't decided where we're going. Landon voiced that going to something that's in town where I don't have to go buy rations because I am a poor starting character. <laughs> Sounds like a better idea than buying rations and trying to survive on the road to go to Thunderspire. If I confront you the the rations, and you can pay me back later, or I can just loot your corpse, then all your stuff will become mine if you die. I still would rather go to the island because neither of those options sound pleasing. I f I feel mildly triggered. Joe. What was the character that you're using tonight? Is Joe here? Oh, sorry. Hey, no. I, might have had, I might have had my mic muted. Ah. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm using uh, Lily, the Gelkin Prestidigitator. Okay. Yep. All right, it looks like some of my skills aren't on here for some reason. Yeah. I do speak the Dwarven languages as well. Okay. Landon is a prestidigitator. He wanted to be able to talk to all of his audiences. Uh, oh boy, prestidigitator. Rolled low on everything but <laughs> uh, physical prowess. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. Well, things are not always uh, you wait until you find my wait until you meet my wizard. He rolled low on everything. Yeah. Tim Timbley still has uh the the number one for the absolute worst stats I've ever seen in, wow. in this game. <laughs> I'll say in this game, <laughs> but yes, the <laughs> mo most people have at least had one character that didn't have so hot, so good. Uh, but but Tim Lee was like almost minimum on everything. It was oh wow crazy bad. And yeah. now you know why I. I kind of went against my, you stick with those stats. It was more of a stick with these stats for a few things and, and make another character just because yeah. that was that, 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 that bad. Oh, wow. Thank you. Okay, yeah. so it looks like we got Landon, Decimus, Sir Emery, Colmain, and Lily as the mm -hmm. ones going. Okay. It's always fun for the game master when they have no idea who's <laughs> who's going. Less less preparation. <laughs> so, uh what is uh, the group thinking about then? I think checking out the island is my preference, but I will defer to more experience, I guess. I mean, I would hate to have children and things like that in town go missing if this island is causing such a thing. Okay, a lot of people are actually writing in chat. Writing down armor rating. Okay, so is anyone not <laughs> willing to go to the island on the uh, with the Tower of Waiting? Looks like the island has enough boats. It has one. Mm -hmm. I don't go. 
Okay. So you are able to requisition a boat take you from if you look at let's do some maps switching back and forth so if you look at number two up at the north that is kind of the dock area of fall crest and number one is the tower uh, island and you're able to requisition a boat from two get you one And now you should uh, be on the Tower Island map. All righty. And this was a map that was what I was uh, excited about, I think, last week that I made yeah. in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, a program incarnate with I N K being the like ink arnake or incarnate, you know, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, you can make really cool maps like super fast from scratch. Uh, you, you try to uh, dock, but the, the dock is actually uh, somewhat in ruins. So you kind of get there. Um, instead of having individual characters, I just have a, group icon so hopefully every that makes it so that everybody can see what's on um, i don't even know if i set up the measure correct probably definitely not correct Well, that was weird. Now it's dark. Yeah. Uh, Let's see that helps. Okay, that should help. Yes. Okay. And there was light. Okay, that's a little closer measure. I didn't look at the scale. Might be off. Definitely closer. So, <laughs> you're... Uh, Group lands. Uh, you tie the boat off to the dock, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. Now we live here. <laughs> and we're in at the edge of a circular tower ruins um, at the north. It looks like there was part of a building that was probably connected to the the towers where the the walls uh, are in ruins as well. And it is raining. So hopefully, people see the rain effect. Yep. 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 <laughs> Search the tower. So is Landon speaking softly on purpose? I'm not trying to, no. Am I better now? Yes. Yep. Shall we search the tower then? Sure. I will keep an eye out to make sure that there's no boards will go crashing through or something like that. Okay, um, give me a perception. Oh, there are so many boards. We're going to go crashing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I 
did uh, Sir Emery and Decimus wish to look around? Trust, hmm. trust me, you want to look around. <laughs> yeah. I may or may not be juggling a couple balls for practice right now, I guess. It's so long ago I hit fine perception. Top row, yeah. Okay. Um, so, Colmain and Landon are, like, really just not really... Oh, so they're, they're paying attention to other things, but Decimus, Sir Emery, and Lily all notice um, kind of in the The upper corner of the tower, there seems to be um, a, a large piece of rubble that looks like it might be uh, covering where a an entranceway might have been at the, the edge of the tower. So if we can get someone up there, we can potentially move that piece of rubble out of the way and get and gain access to the tower that way. So if somebody wishes to try to remove the, the big chunk of rubble, that would be a 4d6 versus strength. <laughs> um, this looks like a job for Sir Emery. Or me. Or you, yes. Of course, after you. How do you do that? Just roll 4d6? That's yeah. probably the easiest way. You can also set on the first page your attribute to PS, your number of dice to 4d6, and then activate the skill on your skill page. But that's three steps instead of just a roll, flash roll. I think that looks like it succeeded. So you uh, clear... The, the rubble, and there seems to be a spiral staircase going down to the. Okay. Darn, I wanted to go up. Oh. But I get some... out a torch and light it. <laughs> I was about to look to see if I had one. I do not. Yeah. I've been in this position before without. I have one now. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Since several of us do not. So well, what? Well, what? Perhaps I should uh, take a lead and head on down, right? Okay. So uh, Sir Sir Emery is going first. Decimus lights a torch. Um, does anyone else have a torch, or are? Or I should ask. Is anyone else lighting some type of light? I don't have one, but I would like to try to fashion one if I can find a stick on the ground. I have fashion tools. Okay. So give me a, a roll for that. Mm. There is no good. Yeah, the, the, the rain has kind of soaked everything and really can't get a, a light going. So what I'm going to do is let's pause for a bathroom break because I need to adjust the scale and I didn't know what characters were going to be on this adventure. So while I set up tokens for people, um, you guys can all do that. I will pause the video and hopefully remember to unpause it once we start. I have three torches if we need them. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Creep and call is and such, but it, uh, uh, well, we'll pay them no matter. <laughs> so, Sir Emery Hello. advanced into the room. Yep. Right. And he's looking to go a bit further in the room. All right. Okay, stay there while other people... Yes, sir. Do a little advancing. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so stop there. Everybody, roll initiative or se oh, so first put. Sorry, first put your uh, self into hand to hand onto the combat tracker. Okay. All right. I think Peter is the only one that hasn't uh, put himself in the combat turn. Or am I here? Okay, now everybody can roll initiative. And you do that by hitting the initiative on your actual character sheet. And then uh, put yourself into stances, whatever stance that you want. Be sure to do that on the character sheet, not just the, the status effect. So it needs to be highlighted in green. Also make sure you only have one stance activated. Hey, Lehman. Yes. I have a, I have weapon proficiency grappling hook and stuff. So if I throw that, can I yank it back, or is it always gonna like latch into a person or what? I would say it would depend on how, if if you missed or hit, and how well you hit. Okay, I was just wondering for having multiple throwing attacks if it was something I could use or not. Uh. Get out of there. So, Landon, you can... Th things seem a little... Tense? Tense, yes. Alrighty then. Um, I don't know why people seem tense, so... I will edge up some, I guess. Looking for my movement, sorry. There it is. I do not see anything, but okay. Decimus. Oh, take the step. See if there's anything going on, which evidently there isn't. I like Whisper. Things seem really tense all of a sudden. Certainly, do you see anything up there? Sir Emery's turn. Sorry, I was muted. Well, I'm uh, gonna work a step here into this doorway and uh, look into this dark room and not see anybody. This door was already open, right? Yes, I, I was trying to click on your character to see what you saw, and I closed the door accidentally. No, yes, it, cool. it yeah, was yeah, it was cool. should have been open. But it is a door. You can close it. If you're very good. Well he's gonna Oh uh, I'm sorry. Actually. Okay. Let's try this again. Landon went. Alright. 
then it should have been Decimus. Decimus move. Okay, and then Sir Emery. Okay. So if you're if you're done, you should be able to hit like your hopefully you have an intern on the combat I tracker. Yep. Yep. It's coming. Can I move through Sir Emery? You can move through allies. You cannot move through enemies. And when you're done, you can hit the... <clears throat> yep. Okay. <coughs> Right. Now it's me. Nope. 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 Okay. All right. Something invisible I'm... is happening. Yep. I see that, or rather, I don't see that. Oh no, spiders. A larger spider about the size of a dog. Small to medium sized dog. Bites, yeah. Landon. And land and make a saving throw versus poison. Wait, was that everybody? Um, just land in so far. We just fail the, the saving. We didn't even have to go out of town for you to be able to take all my stuff, Decimus. <sighs> Great, I have an oh no face. And Lily, you you see a uh, a spider kind of come out from under a a rock and scurry over to Landon and bite him in his leg. Okay, first I'm going to head over here into the, make sure I'm in the light. Then I'm going to thro throw a um a dagger at that spider. I'll throw a knife at the spider. Let's see. Does that hit? That is going to hit, yes. Okay. Can it dodge or anything? Or Nope. Wow. Yay, minimum damage. Ow. <sighs> that, that is life. Oh, yeah, and that's it for that turn. Okay, so Landon, you just got bit. Right, I can't throw because it's next to me, but currently I can move away, right? Correct. So I say, um, big spiders, guys, they're, they're biting us. And that's me. Decimus. I will throw Cobalt Master Sword. Let's see. 
Where is that? Oh. <laughs> two two warriors and three throwers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Wow. That oh. is going to crit. Okay. Nice. So do I roll it twice or do I roll once and double? Just roll once and it, it doubles. Okay. So I hit it and I will take a step back. If you're in the throwing stance, you can only attack or move. Oh, okay. Well, then I will just draw another weapon. Pointing my uh, my torch in its direction, so if it comes at me, it's got fire in its face. <laughs> so, Sir Emery. Right. So it's time to turn and look. Oops, sorry. And not close the door behind him. Turn and look and see if he can locate any dangerous spiders in the room. Should be. Like I see other spiders. These all look like the dangerous spiders. Uh, the one with the uh, health bar. <laughs> At the corner of the light that maybe you're too far in the, the doorway. Uh, he, he he has night vision, so he should. I can, oh, I can see lots of spiders. Oh, oh, wait, wait, there it is. Good up, my friends. I can step on spiders. Yeah, you probably can. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Press the wrong buttons. Go. And I think you can attack it with a hammer. Ah. Sure nice choice. <laughs> Although, it's saying my Warhammer is two-handed. I didn't realize that was a... Yes. Huh. In that case, I'll just, I'll just punch a spider. It'll be a stomp, but I'm going to call it a punch. Why am I minus one on everything? I'm not wounded, am I? You have yourself marked as should not be. I do. Well, Sir Emery likes to take a handicap. It's only fair. <laughs> He's already prepping. So click where it actually says wounded. There oh, you go. on the yes, yeah, that's you, what was... you have to actually click on the word. Very good. Very good. Here comes a punch. I'm afraid and that I'm afraid it, that stomp on the on the bike is not going to work. It's you know, scuttled under your foot and missed. Yep. Colmain. I'm trying to look at what my how far I can move. Should be on your second page. You have a total movement, and then when you start to move your character, you should see in brackets how much you've already moved and what you can move up to your total. So you've already moved like thirty something. Yeah, so I can't move very far. I think you already moved your max there. So I'll just so. stay where I 
Okay. I hear a commotion behind me, but... Yep. Lily. All right. I'm going to throw another knife at it. Okay. Throwing a knife at Sir Emery's foot. And that mm -hmm. hits. Okay. Rolled a little bit better on damage that time. Great, but... It's damage. Okay. I feel this this odd burning sensation in my leg. I don't I don't think that's a good sign. Um I will throw a dagger at it as well. I have that, I guess it's a little late now to ask if there's a healer in the party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think so. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do I do the whole targeting something thing? So, did okay. you do you have the macros? Did we set up your macros or not? Uh, probably not for this character. I know Joe set it up, but I'm not sure if anybody else. I will just throw. We'll just be sure to subtract a knife. So, how do you have ammunition set up then, so that it does subtract? It? Is that just uh, you change cool? like if you if you have uh, knives, you change every place that it says ammo to knife or knives, whatever you call your pool of okay, ammo. I just... Well, then, yeah, I'm not setting up the macro now, but right. so I just need to create a pool of knives. Gotcha. Right. Because right now my knives are only listed in my uh, notes. Well, I don't think that's very good. That does not penetrate it. Little character. Ah. Lily. Or All right. Her. I'll, I'll throw another knife at it. Nope. To me. Nope. You skipped Decimus. It the thing said you only had two attacks. Oh, okay. Because according to this, it says three on my screen. Well, you you the T with the three is because you hit the T that many times. Oh, okay. Yeah, the. The number within that is... Oh, the, the, the red spot next to the hand. Tuck the hand. Yep, yep. Okay. I'm uh, clicking on where it says end turn and it's not doing anything. Yeah, well, it, it went to zero, but everybody's at zero, so it's at the end of the round. Oh, okay. End of the round, so you have to reset the round. Okay. Correct. So the first thing is... Who is... Yeah. Right, and this is where we can change stances and such. Yes, if you can, you can change stance if you want, and a roll initiative when you're done changing stance. Oh, wait a second. If you change your stance, you have to get rid of your other stance. Yes. Uh, how do I do that? Is it just click it again, or is it? Okay, it's um... it's counterintuitive. The okay. left oh, and right. right click. One will raise it. One will lower it. Okay. Oh, right. Right-click lowers it. Cool. Okay. Got it. All right. 
I have now switched my, um, yeah, I decided to pull out my short bow and, yeah. If everybody has rolled, has everybody switched stances and rolled initiative? Or I guess I should say, has anyone not switched stances, rolled initiative? You also get your free weapon switch if you wish to. I just checked the roll. I was waiting for that. Okay, everybody has initiative rolled, so I should be able to. Get everybody. Try it again. Grammary was late. Yes, he was. So, I'm in the uh, macro right now, ranged ammo plus. So, I'm editing it. So, name of attack or weapon. Yes, that whatever is in that quotation needs to be the exact name of your attack so including brackets and everything so it needs to be bracket t bracket knife or space knife and leave the quotes number the quotes yes Lily. All right. I am going to put an arrow in that thing. Yes, you hit. Here it goes splat. Woohoo. And, and turn. Yep. Decimus. A sad day in Mudville. I was going to avenge Landon by biting it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you do the ammo part of it, where it says let ammo equal selected dot document, I put it there too, right? I believe, Joe, you changed every word of ammo to say knives, correct or not? Yes. Yes. Every instance of the word ammo I changed to knives for my throwing knives, yes. Is the spider obviously dead or do we need to make sure? It is obviously dead. Okay. Then I will step forward and retrieve my sword that should be sticking out of it. Okay, roll a d6. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to need to look for a lot of ammo on my next turn. Okay. I'll go over there, get sword. sword I need to do the same, but I'm still editing so. it's it's cool main we're, we're still in combat oh still in mm -hmm. combat sorry i'm going to step back of the room and say what going on land um don't see another thing immediately. 
Um, I'll say you, big... you did feel kind of a, a burning sensation in your leg. It did take a little. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about it. Can somebody help me with my leg? I'm poisoned. Giant spiders, Coleman. Um, I'll move over next to people. You know, I know this person who does healing, um, I, I, but I'm sure you wouldn't know him. I'm sure I wouldn't. It's practically an impossibility. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid you just don't travel in the right circles to uh, to know our friend Nicholas. Are you done? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yep, a little... uh, how does the wound look? I, I do have a fire source. We could cauterize it. It looks like it needs stuff to come out of it. <laughs> Not stay inside. You know what? Because I'm a dummy. Well, nope, nope, you can't go there. I can't? No, it's not your turn. I, I thought it was. Nope. No. Wait, say it's not? Okay, never mind. Never mind. You're not highlighted on the combat tracker. Yep. Oh, there's something oh, else. Oh, the bad guys are going. That's what, okay. Yeah. That, that's what's yeah. happening. Sorry. Yep. Uh, boy. So, uh, whoops. Cole Main gets bit. Nice. Hey, Lehman. Yes. On my combat sheet, it says my armor rating is zero. Shouldn't I have an armor rating of armor rating of fifteen? Yeah, I have it marked down as a You know, my values to share area, I've got armor yeah, rating. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm trying to fix it. Okay. We're not currently waiting on me, are we? No, no. Good. Ah, that's why. Uh, not sure why, but yours did not change. 
get rid of it. Okay, it should look correct, but I understood. You you had actually got missed earlier and didn't realize it. Ah, uh, okay. And I need you to save versus poison. Oh, boy. Do we still have contact with Jenny's character, or is she still just lost in the woods somewhere? She walked out in the woods. Uh, going on walkabout. Hopefully. I thought a 12 was a pretty good roll. Uh, not versus poison. Oh. You want lower or higher? You want it high. Wow. Sir Emery. None of these spiders have run into here yet. Nope. Um, Col Col Main is preventing. Can't go through them currently. There's a spider right on the other side of it. Is that it? There's actually two spiders right on the other side of it. Oh boy. Uh, so I'll come here and say, uh, Say, great work, Corvain. Keep up the good fight. Uh, end, of, end of turn, I guess. Decimus? Okay, so I have to move over. And just get ready for the next round. Uh -huh. One step. Go. Corvain. I want to squish the little mother that just bit me. That will hit. Okay. You hit it. It's not dead. But it's hurting plenty. That's all. You're, if you're not stepping back, then... Landon. So, I'm combing through all of my stuff. I guess I just try to tie a tourniquet with my rope around my leg because this hurts really bad. 
and it doesn't look good for me. <laughs> You're like, adventuring sucks. Where did this idea come from? <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm 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 a little worried about <laughs> about the next couple of rounds. So yeah, I'm I'm unskilled trying to stem the spread of the poison as best I can. Okay, so you're kneeling down trying to figure out what to to do with your festering leg. Sir Emery. Um, there's still no spiders nearby for me to squish. But keep fighting! Keep keep fighting, Colmane! Excellent work, boy! You're like, finally, somebody else besides me! <laughs> Cassia, and work. Cassius isn't here to fall unconscious. Yeah. And Landon. Um, yeah, I don't think resist fatigue does anything. I <laughs> got nothing. Can I resist, can I, can I resist cold to resist the cold grip of death that might come my way? Nope, because I think there probably is some types of resist poison or neutralized yeah. poison. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it currently. I think it's above my pay grade. Um I'll can I actually throw a knife through that or or not? Yeah. You can okay. you can always go through allies. Alright. So I'm going to try this thing. How do I select the target now? Up at the top right is it's a target symbol? And then you okay. put a little dot on them that should correlate with your color. Okay. And hit one, I guess. And then hit whatever macro. your macro is. You might ha I don't know if you can actually hit the number on your keypad, but click it with your mouse. That doesn't work. I tried. I don't then know that I have it set it up right. Something not set up correctly. All right. I will undo what I did. And... So I untarget something. You do the same thing. Click, click it if possible. Okay. You are just opening and closing. It is a really small target in the middle of a doorway. Yes. You can thank Cole Main for moving there. Jesus Christ. Nope. Oh, that misses. Just fails right Jimps, over. Skitters into the other room. And your turn? Yeah, uh, editing my quantity. Now we'll go ahead, and if you wish to change stances, now is the time to do that. Again, as a reminder, you need to make it so that it's green on your character sheet and you toggle off your previous stance. Um, change it also with your status effect, and then you can roll initiative. It's also when we can switch weapons, right? Yes, and you get your free okay. weapon switch. Has, any, has anyone not either rolled initiative or um, switch your stances that was wanting? Okay, round three. Get 
correct. Uh, here we go. If they start off invisible, they stay invisible in the combat tracker until so I manually toggle them in the combat. Hold on one moment. I'll be back, but when I'm back, uh, Decimus will be your turn. Okay. So how's your new puppy, Bauer? No, oh, she's doing good. Better than crapping in Nancy's downstairs. <laughs> she doesn't poop upstairs, but if she's left alone downstairs, she'll leave Nancy present. <laughs> right in front of Nancy, where Nancy is not paying any attention whatsoever, and the dog poops within five feet of her. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, she either her or watching the TV, and if she's watching the TV, the dog is between her and the TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, Decimus, you can go. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Cloud of Steam. So, do I have to actually click the spell? There we go. Okay. Okay, cloud of steam. Okay, so it's the uh, yeah. What level are you casting it at? First level, so it will last four rounds. Okay. And I hope that I don't catch. What's his name in it? There we go. Oh, there, I... that's what I want. Oh, cool. I think. Uh... Let me try this. They get a uh Yeah, I can make the uh the spells like this count down as well. That's cool. Good. The uh spell effect. Um, so, make a targeting roll. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, you uh, cast... You Did you did you move it, or did I move it? I set it there. I, okay. I moved it. Okay. I was wanting to make sure that it, it might get the spider, because hopefully the spider is getting pounded by everybody else. Uh-huh. Anything else coming up behind it would be covered. Okay. I, I got you. Plus, I didn't want the audience that I burned our poisoned broth. Okay, understand. So you you moved it far enough away from him that you don't have to worry about the targeting. But I think okay. That... So do I have to do a targeting for the spider? Um, it's it's quite past the spider, so but okay. there's there's other things that are <laughs> being affected, so. Now, it, it definitely was not a waste, I'll say that. But I do need to make a uh, okay. save. Um, I might need to move this so that I can place the spider. Back after. No problem. And what? Uh, don't worry. I was going to ask. Prayers. Okay. Uh, prayer strength was, but doesn't matter. Um, because 
fail. The uh, roll Damn. damage. Okay. So you can go ahead and uh, if you're not moving, you can. I'm doing the blindness too. <laughs> okay. It's. Let me get oh, more got... status. Okay. Do I have a fairly clear line of sight on that spy there? Oh, that's spider. <laughs> Okay, the spider is just going to have to be purple. I don't know what I did, and when I got rid of it, I accidentally put it back on, so. <laughs> okay, Lily. Right. Do I have a clear line of sight on the spider that Colmaine's fighting? You can always shoot through ally. Cool. And I will shoot it. And that hits. For a reasonable amount of damage. Not a ton of damage, but I'll take it. Wounded it. <laughs> and Sir Emery. He's gonna, you know, clap Coleman on the back and say, Atta boy, keep going. And Coleman doesn't understand a word he's saying. Fight the good fight, boy! Okay, spider. And that does not hit Cole. Me. Then Landon's gonna get some poison. Yay. Landon's turn. I will. I switch to the grappling hook on a rope. So I will attempt to hit the spider. Oh. Um, aren't you like pretty much obligated to shout, get over here? When you throw the grappling hook like that? Oh, I'm hoping it dies. So that when I pull it, <laughs> he doesn't it's... want it over there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I just want to be able to go find the grappling hook back because it's attached to a rope, if nothing else. <laughs> Good lord. Nope. I miss. Oh, did you hang on to the grappling hook and throw the rope? Maybe. The highest roll I've made tonight, I think, has been a three. <laughs> oh, no. I rolled well versus poison, just not well enough. Right. If it would have wow. been magic, you probably would have. But my dice have been cursed. So, 
Cole Main before you go, you're gonna take a poison. Okay. To try and that should hit. Yes, it does. <laughs> Splat. Squishy, squishy spider. I need some light up here. Please. You don't see in the dark? Nope. Why didn't you go to the front in the dark? <laughs> um, because uh... he's brave, boy! <laughs> no, so you... brave! We're you talking can't. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you can't understand us? <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, remind me, I need to get Colmain into a game of poker or something. Uh, if, if you're done, go ahead and and yeah. your turn. Not sure why that didn't. Just... See, his intelligence is halfway decent. Okay. The spider? The, the problem is, then, is you should realize that you just kept one other melee person completely out of the fight for the last round. Well, with you guys fighting the spider back in that room, I figured I'd block the door. Um, The spider back in this room is dead. I know. <laughs> but hey, after you got a new friend. But at the time that I blocked the door, it wasn't. Yep. He's our hero. <laughs> Stop being mean yep. to our friends. In whatever oh. language you're saying. Yep. The context clues suggest that you're being mean. Is there a uh, way to to put that one on top of the other one? Because otherwise there's just a giant Henry, scroll. I told him you could help him more if you step back so the two of you could attack it. I'm is waiting it? for him to step back. I believe there is room right here, um, next to my uh, left abs. Do you consider that mean? Holy shit, we've gone dark. <laughs> now that's mean. The uh, spider misses. And Decimus. Did my torch go out, Lehman? No, I still see it. Oh, I yeah. still see it. All right, well, I see I it also. Reload. In the meantime, I'll just keep talking because... Oh, wait, I guess I could cast my asthma. I will attempt to... Uh, I will do my asthma on the spider. Let's see. Oh, I, I turned me back on again. <laughs> somebody X. Might have been me, but somebody X. Okay, so make a targeting roll. Okay. Were you also uh, casting this at fourth level? Or first level, I mean. Or it's a second level spell. Can I do it at first level? Sure. Am I to do it? Okay, we'll go at first level then. Now you can always choose the, the level. We'll go with first level. Okay. 
that was your targeting there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Col Col Main, make a dodge. This isn't take a action or anything, but determine. Uh, and the this is defenses dodge. Yep. Uh, no. No, it that's that's not how this type of dodge works. You rolled a one. Yeah. And you subtract two, so you have a negative one, and you needed to get under an eleven. See that? Oh. He was trying not to hit you. Okay. I'm going to do something. It might be, might mess up things. And the spider did not die. So do damage. <laughs> oh wait, it sorry, it it gets it. I forgot it got a but it's higher. Yep. It's against. Yep. Okay. It's it. That'll work. Sir Emery, continue cheerleading. Yep. What are you? We're gonna get away. It'll give you a bit of an opening if you wish to back up. Oh, what is that smell? Yeah, it does smell pretty bad there. Um, you didn't know uh, rocks could fart, apparently. Oh, <laughs> Colmain, I think they're leaving an opening so you can back up and not face them yourself. Okay. Colmain, it, it, if you back up, it won't be taking damage from that foul stint. Oh, so... And it's playing for two more... Well, then you can okay. do... You can do that, then. That's fine, too. I'm just trying to pass on information as I feebly throw my grappling hook. Uh-oh. Did I miss? That... Misses. <laughs> well, it hits, but bounces. It, ba it bounces off, okay. Fishing for spiders. I'm not very good at that yet. Uh, Coal main. But that did... does not hit. Well, it hits, but it seems not to do damage. I did yeah. finally roll double digits on an attack. So that's wow. Amazing. Back up. Done. You pass the turn. Back to Landon. All right, all right. I got the hang of this. I, I've never really practiced this before, so let's let's see. So how many grappling hooks do you have on rope? Huh? I've been pulling it back. That's the point of it being there. You hit. Oh my god. Now I gotta find out if it latches in, because if it latches in, I'm probably not pulling it back. <laughs> oh my god. That's horrible. No, it, it, it kind of more of cut it. Yeah. So I can pull it back. That's it. Okay. So, can you move? 
Can you move before and after your action? Yes, as long as your total movement is not your um, okay above your maximum, and that's what's okay. in the bracket bracket for the round. Does your stance your stance matter, doesn't it? If you are in a throwing or range stance, you cannot both attack and move. You must choose one or the other. If you're in a magic or hand to hand stance. There is no move and attack, or attack and move. You, they're independent of each other. So if you wanted to, you could like run by something and attack it as you're running by it, as long as there is room. Okay. Here, the spider is kind of in the doorway. You can't run past that. Okay, so stances. Switch stances. If you want to switch to the stances, be sure to do it on the character sheet also. The stance that you're in should be green. No other stances should be green. Switch weapons if you wish to switch weapons. And then you may roll initiative. And it looks like Sir Emery. Aha! Well, come at me, bros. How can I hold an action until it gets to me? No, but as I just said, you can move, attack, and move back. Movement and attacking are independent. Long as you don't go. Yeah, but uh, you know, I was busy not paying attention. <laughs> Very good. I'm gonna step up and stomp on a spider. <laughs> Another righteous strike at the ground. Correct. Decimus? Take another point of miasma. Oh, that sounds like your spell's doing about as good as my grappling hook. Hey, it's actually done damage twice. I've done damage once. It's the minimum damage I could possibly do. Let's see, combat. I want skills. For spells, we switch back over and throw it at you. Uh, bastard's will. That is going to just barely oh. bounces here. Okay. Lily. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, I'm going, I really want to target that spider that's in the door, but. There's something on top of it. Try now. There we go. Yep, got it. All right. And now I'm going to shoot it with my bow. Oh, and... that misses. Yeah. Yep. I will. Cool yep. main. And that's going to hit. Ooh, critical success. Now, do we double that? Yeah. I double it, yes. Uh, 
Oh, it's splat. I'm just getting rid of it because that purple bother. <laughs> Hammer time. We need to take a look at any of our injured people. Is no, there anything I'm trying to for? figure out? Did I take some more damage this round? Yes, I'm just trying to figure out why your spell effect is not counting down and other ones. So go ahead and uh, you move forward. You hit the thing back or to there, whatever. Um, yeah. Switch in in your turn if you're ready, and I want to see. Yeah, that is your turn. That was the his... key. Something something does not appear in the something or other collection. That was yeah. it. Removing the token from me. You no longer feel the the poison going, but you are now awesome. I should be perfect for doing all this stuff now. So let me just ask this: there are two overlapping. Damaging spells. At least Sir Emery has seen this type of thing in action. And experience myself. Yes. So are are people waiting until waiting the four minutes to let the the spell effects go? Is is around a whole minute? Yes. Okay. Well, I suggested that we take a look at the injured and see if there's anything we can do for them. We have a few moments of of uh, protection from the spell. Can you suck the poison out? Do I look like a vacuum? I... I... I don't know how that works on a rock. <laughs> My poison seems to have subsided. I don't think anybody here has any herbalism or potions or anything like that. Nope. nope. Okay. Well, I have herbalism, but I don't know that it'll do us any good. Uh, you would have had to have made potions with that. I did. It wouldn't do us any good. Right. Okay. So I need to search for two knives. Yeah, uh, for whatever Not knives. But yeah. What do I want to say? Knives. Arrows. Etc. Yeah. that were in this room. If you fired at any of the things from over here, those you can't collect right now unless you go into two overlapping nasty spells. No, but I threw one and one. <clears throat> so, is it on, uh, how do you determine it? Roll, roll uh, d6s and they'll be broken on a uh, 6 So I collect the first one that's in this room, the other one I have to wait for the spell to go away. We don't have a magic user, do we? We have magic. We don't have a healer. What do well, you think that stench is that went off in front of your face? <laughs> Mm 
Normal mystical healing doesn't work, although mend a stone spell and similar mystical effects would heal me. Ah. Uh, I think mend stone is... See, I'm a water and air elementalist, not an earth. You chose the wrong form, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you did the things that you were doing in that room, and very good. So it's time to move on. Thank you, my friend Golmain. This is the first fight I've ever gotten in where I did not get injured at all. <laughs> You're losing your Thank touch. You. Thanks to you, my friend. Colmain, he says it's mm -hmm. your fault you didn't get injured. Yes. No, you can't understand me. I'm speaking a different language. Yeah. Feeling the best. Yeah. Ooh, can you ask Sophia to do the dishes? Hey, Lena, can you move me into the room? Can you what now? Can you move me into the room? I'm stuck in the door. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. If you get into those, sometimes if you use the arrow keys to move your token, that yeah. works. Okie doke. I will search for my last dagger. Now oh, that's weird. It's it's like saying old characters' names when I change it. Not seen. <laughs> so who's in the other room by themselves? A girl. Yo. Yep. What's up? You're getting, left behind. Hmm? You're getting left behind. You're getting left behind. Yep. Oh, uh, did the round end? Since. I think we're out of combat. The, the two or... spells that lasted four minutes each ended. Okay. All right. Okay. I will follow. Yeah. I was just waiting for the next round since I wasn't doing anything there. So. Okay. So I take it that uh, Sir Emery has a preference for the door he's standing next to? Oh, before we leave the room, I'm going to try to find my arrows and knives. The, the, I... the ones that were in the, the room that you just left, yes. you could have already did those. If you're yes. searching this room, that's well, separate. The, uh, yeah, the ones that were in the previous room, um, I think I had three knives and one arrow. So you can roll a three three d six and then a a one d six and three d six. So oh geez. So you lost one. Lost of, one of the uh, the knife. Okay. And beyond, then beyond repair. Okay, then one for the arrow. And that's fine. Okay, so I get um, two knives back, and I get one arrow back, and then there will be two arrows in this room somewhere. Come back in here and... Okay, I... All right, so... Yeah, I'm used to where I see the um, individuals, but do I get both those arrows back, or if if you click the uh, box, the gray box, it'll expand and show you what you rolled. On sixes is what makes oh. it break. Yep. So, so you rolled a two and a six. 
Yep. So, all right. I got one more arrow. So I'm down one knife and one arrow. Okay. I need a d20 roll from Landon and. Oh, boy. Uh. Okay, so Landon, give me a perception. Oh boy. You're both of you are like uh, searching for stuff. Okay, and we will go back in. All right. What I have in the combat. Add. Go oh back boy. Into combat. Lehman, yeah. when combat is over, I wish to check for poison sacks on the spider. Okay. Um. Do you have like uh hunting? Yes, I have light hunting. <laughs> I don't have hunting, but you told me I had light hunting. Well, it's my wilderness survival. You were letting me do hunting. It's more survival and less poison. This would be actual hunting or. Oh, wait, I actually poison. do have hunting. There you go. Yes, I have a hunting. Okay. So roll, roll that. Well, if we're going into initiative, I was waiting for after we cleared this room. Ah, okay. Because I didn't want to start. Cutting things up and have the possibility of getting jumped. Okay. So, everybody first, enter initiative again. Click your... Not roll initiative, enter. Enter yourself into the combat. Decimus, could I get you to enter into I combat? Did. I did. There, there, we you, go again. there you go. And now everybody, go ahead, roll initiative, and or, and set your stances. Now that's weird, like... Huh. Like sometimes it'll show up when Anthony rolls as old man Nicholas. The other time... Maybe he's just being tricksy. Maybe. <laughs> Is it sometimes you're using the the uh, 
macro at the bottom, and sometimes you're using it on the character nope. sheet. Okay. All character sheets. And like some sometimes, uh, Joe will do Lily, and then the other time it will say Lily. Bridge. Okay, that's odd. Yeah, I it, think that is... one's pulling it. That was actually the macro, so that was pulling it. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, no, this this one the initiative. Well, the initiative. Okay, so. Your knife went in a very bad place. When you cover. Yay. Well, that one missed. The other one hit. Oh no. Lucky you've already uh, fought off this poison, so you don't have to make a poison. But the, you, yeah. you took a lot. And Sir Emery. Very good. Well, got some more spiders to deal with. Very good. I'll come over here. Give it a good stomp. That is oh. not going to Or a weak ass stomp. Turns out I'm not actually that way. That good at stopping all things. No, because you only get your uh, PP bonus. And... Yeah, yeah. No. Per Perhaps you should bring out a weapon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to shoot it. Hmm? Shooting a spider. That hits. Yep. Nice. Which one was that? Oh, I, uh, I see it. The one that you targeted. Yep. Easy. Go on. Oh. Thought I hit end turn. Okay, there. All right. Wow. That thing's got it. Can take a ton more damage than I can. So move to there. Oh, miss. Luckily, we don't have critical miss. Oh, jeez. Do I have a penalty to throw at something in the dark? Um, if you can't see it, yes. Well, I can see the bars, but I don't really see a spider. If that's the case, I will move closer so that they'll be in visual range. Yeah. The next turn I'll do. There we go. Now I see them. Landon. So, I underestimated my capabilities of adventuring. I, <laughs> I will be waiting in the boat. I cannot be bitten by one more spider. I'm done. I move. Yeah. Sir Emery. Oh, we'll try to stop one more time on the spider. That's not going to get through it. No. That's no, really not. 
I I also am beginning to feel like some people are not taking this seriously when others are close to death. Yeah, well, Sir Emery, quit pussyfooting around. Get in here and kill things. I literally am on death's door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're done, you can... Oh, okay. Pass it. Cool. Pass it all home. Uh, oh, good fucker grief. Oh. Wild swing. I rolled a one I first know. time and a two the second time. Wow. And his bonuses is offset by his negatives for being. <laughs> Decimus? Decimus will throw at the injured spider. That's not gonna hit. Not that, gonna that, 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 yeah, that doesn't even hit. Doesn't even bounce. It just completely misses. Mm hmm. Oh boy. You're done. You're not moving. Yeah. And you pass it. Keep hobbling, Lance. Landon. Huh. I am scurious. I will try not to fall because that will kill me. <laughs> I am sorry, my friends. I must go outside. <laughs> I'll watch the boat. Was that um, your maximum? That's my maximum. Okay, so go down to Zero. And everybody else are landing too. Needs to get I out before hit, another you... one <laughs> gets him. Yeah, um, I was going to say, I'm literally just going back to the boat. <laughs> everybody go ahead, switch stances if you want to switch stances, switch weapons if you wish to switch weapons for free. Um, we bought a sword. Then you may... A roll initiative. Yep. I'm... Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. And I'm going to stick with the bow for now since it seems to be doing reasonably well. I think everybody rolled. I switched stances. I just didn't change it on my character yet. But... Yeah, that that's the most important thing is changing. No, I changed it on my character sheet, not my. Or, yeah. Okay. Token. Okay. Wow, a lot of bad initiative. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nines. Holy crap, nines. This spider is going to attack Coolman. And it can't get through his rock skin. Oops, I'm sorry. That moved me. Break I'm your here. teeth, little bugger. Oops. That... Oh, I had myself there. Lily. Going to shoot the spider I shot before. That Not like that. Bounces off of it. Decimus? Decimus will try the same thing he did last time. Well, maybe not. He'll try and hit this time. That hits. Okay. Which one were you uh, throwing that the... at? I was going for the injured one. Okay. It is more injured. Yeah. And then I can. In my turn. Okay, this one's going to try to bite him. Hey, Sir Emery, didn't you say you didn't get hurt last time? For the first time ever? <sighs> that is about to change. <laughs> I, uh, I pair it with a shield? You can try to parry its... Awesome bite with a shield. 
Can't. It is like, oh boy, troll for dinner. <laughs> no, maybe not. That, do you wish to try to dodge? I've, I don't think I've rolled anything over like a like a three or four. Man. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of bonuses to have that low of a total. I know. I know. But yeah, I, that was a four I rolled. It's... Um, it's Screwed up your leg and got under your cod yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dodge. There's dodge. Right, let's attempt the dodge. It's way, way better, but still ain't gonna do it. Nope. I'm sure. Uh, give, give me a uh, save versus poison. Yeah. Oh, solid. <laughs> Back wow. Shitey numbers again. Wonder if this one's gonna gonna work. <coughs> oh boy. Yeah, that one gave you a pretty solid hit. And then... Landon. So, I accidentally moved before I was here. Ah, uh, okay. I was trying to figure out how to draw the lines where you uh, go around corners. And when you, uh, hit the space, when you hit the space bar, you actually follow the... Uh, yeah, I believe it's a click. Oh, okay. It's well, the other click. I have enough movement. I make it all the way off this level. So okay, I I do call back. I I will make sure the boat's there, guys. But I I can't get bit one more time. Yeah, not without a healer. <laughs> <laughs> and I will wash my leg in water. I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sir Emery. Good will to strike back at this demonic spider creature. Really? I have a shitty at fighting. Alright. That hits. There we go. See? It's finally doing a little damage. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, that hurt it pretty yeah. bad. Yep. Okay. And if you're done, you can pass it on to Colmain. Push my damn button. God. Oh. That misses. Yeah. So if you're not moving, you can move it to Decimus. I'll do the same thing as last time. No. That's going to hit. No big. And did you switch targets to the the most damaged one, or are you... same one? Same one. Mm -hmm. Ah, trying to get it to wounded so it's less likely to hit. And it too is. Okay. It looks really similar to Colmaine in its wounds. <laughs> yeah. If that was uh, everything, you can move it to Sir Emery. Oh, yeah. Kill it, Sir Emery. So 
Sir Emery, you're up. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's uh, try this. Beat another spider. Maybe. That's going to hit. All right. And that's going to kill him. Yeah, just push that one off. And Colmain. Oh, that's... good grief. Colmain does not understand fighting spiders. I, I, I squished that one really good. Yep, yeah, but you're not finished when you squish just one. Okay, so um, you want to switch stances? Now's the time. Switch stance, switch weapons. After you've done that, you can roll initiative. All right. I think I'm good on ranged. I think everybody. Up. Um, so Lily. Right. I'm going to shoot it. That is going to hit. And that is going to kill it. All right. Let mm -hmm. us. Okay. All right. And do I have time to look for spent arrows? Yes. Yep. I there are three arrows in this room. Yes. Okay. Yep. I think. I got all three of them back. Me too. So here, here's what we'll do. Um, as I've stated uh, previously, in these type of situations, sometimes you just need to go back. Perhaps find some stuff, equip, get some better equipment. Um, <laughs> you might look at various uh, look at the manufacturing products with the herbs and see if you might be able to buy something that might help with poison. Yes, carving up spiders, uh, getting getting stuff. Uh, oh, what I want to say the poison use, sack. The, the using the using use poison skill can be used uh, for that. If you don't just, have it, you might give it to somebody, sell it, etc. Um, but with uh, one of your party members uh, having decided to nope on out, and with the two frontline fighters being wounded. From poison, you think it's probably best to go back and try again with either this group or another group on a mm -hmm. another day mm -hmm. to retreat. I do think that uh, Landon is now going to earn money in town and train until he feels like he can adventure because he doesn't feel like he can right now. <laughs> Okay, I, I want to get the poison, pay, possibly to sell, but also it, if we make an antitoxin out of it, we might be able to find an alchemy person that could do that or herbalism or something. It would probably be a er, either, yeah, an herbalism because use poison would be to take that and make it to use poison. <laughs> yes. well, I have the herbalism skills and I have the hunting, so I figured I'd make the effort. Right. We can get. Okay. So... Everybody will get experience. It's not like you don't get experience for it. You learn some stuff. Um, also, this was the first, uh, for, for this group, that's the first time that some people use uh, secondary characters, so they're, uh, alternate. So there was a mix of uh, 
I don't want to say Edward. advance of veteran and neonate adventurers. So that was interesting as well. So I'll go ahead and stop the recording.